Here's another class of Echinodermata. This is known as the class Ophoroidea. Welcome to the brittle stars. Brittle stars are just that. Well, they're, their little tiny arms are really brittle. Even in life, all these specimens are dried, but in life, these arms break off so easily. Our local species are this size or smaller, and you can find them in tide pools, quite common. I'm gonna put him down, and I'm gonna take one of these larger brittle stars. Okay, maybe I'll move this whole tray and I'll deal with the brittle stars here. So I can talk about the oral and aboral side. Look at these guys, they're so beautiful, right? So this is the aboral. If I turn him over carefully, all right, this guy's turned over, let's look at him. This is the oral surface of the brittle star. Please zoom in so we can see some of these amazing features. Focus. Ah, there we go. Not bad. I mean, look how big my fingers are. So this is really quite magnified. Let's look at this. So the opening right here in the middle, well, of course, that's the mouth, okay? If we go from there, well, I certainly can see these different shields, right? See them? Does one look different than the others? And that's what we're looking at. The one that's different, and I'm going to guess it's this one here, okay, is the madreporite. They're usually a slightly different color. Obviously, it's going to be the one that water is entering to, but you're looking at a dried specimen. Shall I try my other? See if I can do it. Do any of them look different? Well, not radically so, right? But perhaps this one. But that's what you're looking for and looking for the madreporite. And it's either madreporite or the oral shield. The others are going to be the oral shield. So mouth, madreporite, these other four are oral shields. Uh, there are slits. Those are not... Those are normal, those are not where it's broken or anything. And those are called the bursal slits. And the only other thing that you have is when you start to go down the arms, you have these spines. And it doesn't matter which structure, or excuse me, which specimen I'm looking at. I can still see, yep, look at those are the spines going down each arm. Do I have bursal slits? Uh, a little harder to see on this particular specimen, but they are there. Bristle slits, madreporite, oral shields, mouth. Brittle stars.